guys. Uh, welcome back to Carwin's Game Store. We've got a lot going on today. A uh, little hour of devastation here. So we figured we'd take some time and crack a box. Show you guys what's going on. It's, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping, get some invocations, maybe a little Thoughtsy, some Blood Moon. Oh, man. This plastic is annoying. Let's see what we got. All right. Show you guys what the uh, the packs look like a little bit here. Little Nico Bolas, some Samit. So let's get right into it. Pack one. All right. Open fire. Countervailing winds. Sandblast. Let's see. Bitter bow. Sharpshooter. That card's cool. Four four for vigilance of reach. Seems like a good limited card. A little Rush Camel. Harrier Naga. Desert of the Glorified. I want to stop for a second and talk about the deserts. I am super interested to see what's going to happen with these. Uh, it seems like they got a lot going on. Let's see what's up. Little Manolith. Some nice little uh, nice little reprints here. I don't even know how to say that. Thorn Malak. I think. Well, we'll find out. Without Weakness. Crypt of the Eternals. Liliana's Defeat. A braid. This card is sweet. Uh, can we say bye bye, Heart of Kieran? Maybe. Hopefully. You know, little Mardu vehicles. Hopefully, this you know dies down. Get some uh, some new decks rolling in the format here. And God's Pharaoh gift. Uh, you know, lands things like that. Let's uh, let's make our way here. We'll go to pack two. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Kindle Fury. Uh, Avon Reed Stalker. Active Heroism. Oasis Ritualist. Kenra Eternal. This card kicked my butt in pre-release. Multiple times. Harrier Naga. Feral Prowler. Desert of the True. Uh, Gilded Ceradon. God's Feral Faithful. Razaketh's right. Chandra's defeat. And let's see. Eternal of the Harsh Truths. And Dream Stealer. Dream Stealer seems pretty cool. A one, two, three mana menace. When it deals combat damage, they uh, discard cards. It's not terrible. Hopefully we get the goods real soon. Ooh, I like this pack. I'm going to start with the foil. Little Runap Excavator. This card is sweet. Uh, you can play Lance from the Grave. Mini Crucible on a stick. Seems pretty good. Seems also very strong with the Zuza. Maybe a little modern playable. Some standard ramp with the deserts. So we're going to leave this right in the middle and let's get to it. Dauntless Haven. Firebrand Archer. Aerial Guide. Oasis Ritualist. Another Kenra Eternal. Rampaging Hippo. Unsummon. This card is awesome. I've heard a lot about this card. A lot of players are happy that this card's coming back. It uh, works some wonders. Desert of the Glorified. Scrounger of Souls. Crypt of the Eternal. Burn Fist Minotaur. Sunscour Champion. And Hazard's Undying Fury. So let's make our way here. I'm going to leave this guy right at the top. I just like looking at it. I think it's a pretty cool card. It looks really nice, especially in foil. Let's see. A couple of ones we've just seen. The Countervailing Winds. Sunblast. Firebrand Archer. Lethal Sting. Oasis Ritualist. Kenra Eternal. This card. This card is a pain in my, uh, my touche. Uh, Juru Renunciation, Unsummon, Desert of the Mindful, Manolith, uh, Resolute Survivors, Struggle and Survive. Well, that's cool. Each player shuffles his or her graveyard and his or her library for two for the aftermath. Not terrible. Where are we at here? Ah, Devotee of Strength and Wildfire, Wildfire Eternal. Let's talk about Afflict for a second. Afflict 4, 
Whenever this creature becomes blocked, the defending player loses four life. So Flint is a sweet mechanic. It says, you block my creature, you take life? I like it. Gives you some free ways to get in, maybe get in some chip damage with a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit of a plus side for it. All right. Some more, uh, some more cards we've already seen here. Let's see. Nothing too crazy here. Ah, Earthshaker Kenra. All right, that's pretty cool. Just a uh, a two mana two one with haste. It says when it enters the battlefield, the creature with power less than it can't block it. I think uh, it's a cool it's a cool way. Uh, maybe red mono red and standard might get uh, make a little bit of a comeback. It's been a long time since there's just been a mono red deck, so hopefully this helps get that archetype there. Where are the goods? That's the real question. Kenra Scrapper. Proven Combatant. Mummy Paramount. Carrion Screecher. Sidewinder Naga. Marauding Bone Slasher. Manolith. Desert of the Mindful. Catcher's Avenger. A 2 mana 3 1 that says when it attacks, you may exert it, and if you do, prevent all co combat damage done to it. Uh, mono white, always watching, standard, seems pretty good. Crash through, supreme will, overcome, oh, make some space here, dagger of the worthy, nimble obstructionist, good old stifle on a stick. This card is sweet. This is 150% a Kevin Jones card. I have a feeling eventually this is going to see some play out of one of his nice little, uh, what's the word, monstrosities. All right. Oh, come on. You guys got to give me some, some good looks. DCM Dame. That's my buddy. Dave Dame, what's up, man? Little disposal mummy. Open fire. Morning Wall, Bitterbow Sharpshooters, Torment of Venom, Strategic Planning, Survivor's Encampment, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Defiant Kenra. Oh, we're always making space here. Let's see. Manticore the Eternal, Unconventional Tactics, Consign and Oblivion, and an Undoor and Pouncer. Two mana, one, one, double strike cat. For all my cat tribal fans out there. We got some new, uh, what is it? Cat commander spoiled, right? So this will slide perfectly right in. Where's my invocation? Where's my invocation? Hopefully it's good. Unquenchable thirst. Solitary camel. Open fire, beneath the sands, moaning wall, Ronus is stalwart, gilded Saradon, feral prowler, desert of the indomitable. What's this? Graven abomination, manticore eternal again, sand strangler, vizier of the true, and a bandage sarcophagus. These cards are a pain in the butt. Let's see. We got a bunch of these out at once. I'll put them right up here. Boom. Ooh, a little Nico Bolas pack next. I like it. Ooh, this is cool. Nice little foil. Foil aerial guide. Let's move this guy over a little ways. Boop. Avid Reed Stalker. Disposable Mummy. Disposal Mummy. Sorry. Kenra Scrapper. Ronus the Stalwart. Lethal Sting. Oasis Ritualist. Desert of the True. 
Life goes on. I want to talk about this card. Can you say modern burn? Uh, bye. Which kind of stinks because I actually have burn. Traveler's Amulet. Uh, in, in new Rivlet. I don't know. Whoop. Little Doomfall. Let's see. Banewit Punisher. Driven in Despair. All right, here we go. A little bolas. Hopefully, there's a good old bolas in here for us. Eh, we'll find out. Puncturing blow. Spellweaver Returnal. Dauntless Haven. Ronus Stalwart. Grizzly Survivor. Survivor's Encampment. Uh, Juru's Renunciation. Thorn Moloch. Unsummon. Gift of Strength. Pew and Authority. Okay, that's cool. Rune Map Runes. Rune Map. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Alright. Hostile Desert. Good old Creature Land. I think this card is going to be sweet. It's going to see... It'll probably see a good amount of play in Standard. Is my guess at some point. Exile land from your graveyard. Becomes a 3-4 elemental until end of turn. That's still a land. For two? To activate? That's pretty good. We'll see where Desert takes us. All right. Ooh, shiny. Nice little foil of braid. This card is awesome. You know, kill a nice little weenie. You know, destroy an art target artifact. Little heart of Kieran, little... Well, we don't have to worry about Marvel anymore, so... That's all that matters. Uh, Tragic Lesson, Aven of Enduring Hope, Firebrand Archer, Grizzly Survivor, Ambuscade, Life Goes On, uh, Granitic Titan, Granitic, Seer of Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, Sifter Worm, Crook of Combination, Burning Fist Minotaur, and Solemnity. Solemnity is a pretty cool card. It uh, already says that, hey, Phyrexian on life, what's up? We're best friends. Uh, if we're both on the battlefield, we're not going to lose the game. So somebody will probably try and... Uh, we got a little glare going on. Somebody will try and make it a... Probably a modern deck or attempt to make it a modern deck. I know Phyrexian on life is a sweet card and a lot of people like it. So we'll see where Solemnity combines with that. On to the next one. All right. Countervailing Winds. Sunblast. Firebrand Archer. Beneath the Sands. Moaning Wall. Strategic Planning. Desert of the Glorified. Scrounger of Souls. Defiant Kenra. Jiru's Renunciation. Uh, Sinuous Striker. Farm and Market. Consign and Oblivion. Endless Sands. Alright. That's pretty cool. Exile target creature you control for t two and tap it. Sack it and return each creature to the battlefield exiled with it in the bottom of their owner's... Oh no. Put it on the battlefield under their owner's control? That's kind of busted. I don't know. Like I said, I am really curious to see where the deserts go and end up. Uh, we'll see what happens. Standard's kind of in a good slash weird space so we'll see how much hour comes in and affects everything and hopefully for the better always for the better all right tragic lesson active heroism puncturing blow kenra eternal rampaging hippo carrion screecher cunning survivor we'll leave a nice little space here wall of forgotten pharaohs survivors encampment Catcher's Avenger, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Imaginary Threats, Vizier of the Anointed, Scarab God. I don't like this card already. The set's not even out, and I don't like this card. It uh, Myself and my partner during pre-release actually lost to it. That's why. But it is a sweet card. It does a lot of really cool things. Um, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's the standard. It'll definitely see some sort of commander play for all you commander players out there.
All right. Blur of Blades. Unquenchable Thirst. Dutiful Servants. Rampaging Hippo. Moaning Well. Ambuscade. Desert of the True. Life Goes On. Uh, Granetic Titan. Seer of Last Tomorrow. Merciless Eternal. Desert's Hold. Riddle Form. And Ronus' Last Stand. Two mana put a 5-4 on the battlefield, but your lands don't untap. Maybe in the late game? I don't know. Seems alright. But who knows? Ooh, I like this card. I'll show that guy last. Avon Reed Stalker. Mummy Paramount. Frontline Devastator. Bitterbow Sharpshooter. Meringue Bone Slasher. Strategic Planning. Wall of Pharaohs. Desert of the Glorified. Scrounger of Souls. Defiant Kenra. Sifter Worm. Tenacious Hunter. Dunes of the Dead. And first, first walker here. Samet the Tested. Let's see what this guy does. Plus one up to one target creature games. Double strike until end of turn. Minus two, Sam of the Tested deals two damage divided as you choose to one or two target creatures and or players. Minus seven, search your library for two creatures and or planeswalkers and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Uh, can you say doubling season? It seems really good here. Uh, I think Samit, in terms of standard and what have you, is it might be a little underrated. It's not super powerful compared to planeswalkers of this color in the past, but hey... Modern, Commander, you name it. Doubling season. This card looks pretty cool to me. Alright, these packs are being a little fidgety with me today. Getting in my way. Alright, Proven Combatant. Mummy Paramount. Frontline Devastator. Lethal Sting. Beneath the Sands. Manolith. Desert of the Mindful. Oketra's Avenger. Crash Through. Traveler's Amulet. Steward of Celerity, uh, Sinuous Striker, Tenacious Hunter, and Bantu's Last Reckoning. Uh, three mana damnation with the uh, semi big drawback. Maybe it's fine in standard. I don't know. I think in modern overall, damnation's better, but to have a nice, nice board wipe in standard seems pretty sweet. Uh, destroy all creatures, lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. So, we'll see where it goes. It'll probably see a lot of standard play. You know, who doesn't like three mana board wipes? All right. Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, uh, Celerity Camel, Open Fire, Bitterbow Sharpshooters, Marang, Marauding uh, Bone Slasher, Strip Riverwind, Ruin Rat, Steadfast Sentinel, Merciless Eternal, Feverant. Uh, Paincaster, Inferno Jet, Apocalypse Demon. All right, that's cool. Kenner Scrappers are foil. All right, Apocalypse Demon. Power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. Being your upkeep, tap it unless you sack another creature. I don't know how I feel about that. EDH, maybe Commander. I don't know. Commander always finds a home for these very... I don't want to say weird cards. They're cool cards, but they're a little out there. All right. Celerity Camel. Open Fire. Tragic Lesson. Harrier Naga. Wretched Camel. Without Weakness. Defiant Kenra. The Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Cunning Savior. Hope Tender. Vice, uh, Vile Manifestation, Inferno Jet, Ooh, Grind and Dust, and a Foil Fraying Sanity. Uh, for all my MILF fans out there, this one's for you. Three mana Enchant Player at the beginning of each end step. Enchant Player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn. So that's pretty cool. Little 1v1 Commander. Maybe some nice, uh, maybe a blue-black standard deck. Maybe a blue-red, who knows, mono-blue. But we'll see where this card goes. This card, I think, is pretty sweet. All 
All right. Still on the hunt. No invocations yet, so we'll see what happens. Kindle Fury, Aerial Guide, Active Heroism, Lurching Rot Beast, Frilled Sandwalla, Torment of Venom, Grave Abomination, Steadfast Sentinel, Desert of the True, Life Goes On, Supreme Will, Ominous Sphinx, Claim and Fame, Torment of Hailfire. This card is cool. Uh, I think this card has a place in maybe some sort of ramp deck in standard. Maybe it's a finisher to a, uh, a, like a, some sort of black mid-range deck. We'll see. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacks a non-land permanent or discards a card. And it's two black and X. All right. We're getting there. Hopefully we get some invocations soon. I really want to see... Probably Blood Moon. Maybe Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize seems pretty cool. Kenra Scrapper. Spellweaver. Yeah. Spellweaver Eternal. Dutiful Servants. Harrier Naga. Lurching Rot Beast. Frilled Sandwalla. Manolith. Thorn Moloch. Without Weakness. Cunning Survivor. River Hoopy. Uh, Hope Tender. Uh, if Near Deadlands. And a little Uncaged the Menagerie. All right, the hunt continues. Where are we at? Let's restock some packs here. I'm gonna bring them all over so this way they're all on the screen. All right, so that's what we got left. Hopefully it's here, exactly what we're looking for. All right. Mummy Paramount, Kindle Fury, Spell Weaver, Spell, I can't say it. I am having such a hard time. This card kills me. Moaning Wall, Ronus the Stalwart, Lethal Sting, Life Goes On, Kinetic Titan, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Desert of the Fervent, Imaginary Threats, Overcome, Dagger of the Worthy, Hour of Revelation. This card is cool. This says, hey, I can be three white board wipe for everything, minus lands, but it's pretty sweet. Hour of Revelation costs three less to cast if there are ten or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Seems pretty good against zombies. Maybe. Anybody. Maybe a little tokens deck. Seems like it could be pretty well there. All right. Frontline Devastator. Tragic Lesson, Aven of Enduring Hope, Kenra Eternal, Rampaging Hippo, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Defiant Kenra, Scrounger of Souls, Juru's Renunciation, Unsummon, Raza Keth's Right, Burning Fist Minotaur, Sunscorch Champion, Neheb the Eternal, 5 mana, a flick 3, a 4 6, pretty cool. At the beginning of your post, mo mo uh, post combat main phase, Add one red to your pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. Maybe a finisher to a red deck. Maybe, I don't know, squeezes in a little blue-red spells. I have no idea. We'll see where these cards end up. I think it's a pretty cool card. I think Afflict is a really sweet mechanic. Um, it kind of makes your opponent think a lot more while giving you an advantage, I would say. Kindle Fury. Aerial Guide. Active Heroism, Marauding Bone Slasher, Bitter Bow Sharpshooters, Wretch Camel, Desert of the Fervent, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Gilded Ceradon, Chandra's Defeat, Gideon's Defeat, Riddle Form, Amit Eternal, and Wretch Camel is our foil. Amit Eternal's cool. A 3 mana 5 5 with a flick 3. Pretty sweet. Whenever it deals combat damage, remove all 1-1 one, one counters. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. For 5-5, five, five, I don't know if any of your opponents are casting 5 spells in one turn. Maybe Modern's probably the only format. Maybe Legacy, but the Standard, probably not going to happen. All right. Let's see here. Dutiful Servants, 
Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Marauding Bone Slasher, Beneath the Sands, Strategic Planning, Desert of the Mindful, Gift of Strength, Crash Through, Manolith, Doomfall, Saving Grace, Riddle Form, and Refuse and Cooperate? Cooperate? Alright, pretty cool. Got some packs left. Hopefully we get some invocations. Alright. Kenra Scrapper. Spellweaver Eternal. Dutiful Servants. A little Sidewinder Naga. Lethal Sting. Cunning Survivor. Desert of the Mindful. Oketra's Avenger. Gift of Strength. Crash Through. Crook of Combination. Rune Map uh, Ruins. Vile Manifestation. Hour of Promise. Five mana. Search your library for up to two card, two land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create two 2-2 two, two black zombie tokens. I think this card is sweet. Um, I've seen a lot of people online in general uh, streaming, talking about a red-green ramp deck. I'm currently working on a black-green ramp list because of this card. So we'll see what happens. I'm probably wrong. I like French playables. But I think this card will make a pretty heavy splash in standard. Kind of like the idea of being able to uh, still throw down Ulamog. All right. Puncturing Blow. Spell Weaver, Spell Weaver Eternal. I'm going to get it right at one point. Uh, Dauntless Haven. Wretched Camel. Ronas' Stalwart. Survivor's Encampment. Uh, Juru's Renunciation. Thorn Moloch. Unsummon. Gift of Strength. Jace's Defeat, River Hoopy, Infear Deadlands, Pride Sovereign. Again, all you cat fans. There it is. Gets plus one, plus one for each other cat you control. Uh, pay a white, tap and exert it. Put two 1-1 one, one tokens with lifelink onto the battlefield. All right, we're getting to the wire. Let's, uh, let's Blood Moon, Thoughtseize maybe. Hopefully they better show up real soon. I'm getting antsy. Just want the goods. Oh, all right, cool. Puncturing blow, proven combat, dauntless haven, torment of venom, sidewinder naga, lethal sting, feral prowler, desert of the indomitable, graven abomination, a cursed horde. How do you say magma Mag mag. Uh, ah, I'm gonna give up. Saving grace. Nice little foil planes. And the Locust God. Locust God's pretty cool. So now we got, what, two out of three? Six mana, four, four flying. Whenever you draw a card, create a blue, one, one, red insect. Blue and red, one, one insect with flying and haste. Pay for, draw, discard. All right, that's cool. When it dies, return it uh, to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. That's a pretty sweet card. I think that probably Commander. That's my guess. Maybe not Standard. I don't know. Uh, it all depends on where the state of standard ends up. But, like I said, I like cards that are cool. I'll play anything, essentially. If it's modern, eh, then I'm playing a real deck. But Firebrand Archer. Solitary Camel. Disposable Mummy. Uh, Carrion Screecher. Oasis Ritualist. Marauding Bone Slasher. Gilded Seraton. Uh, Ruin Rat. Desert of the True, Stripped Wit Riverwinder, Jace's Defeat, Obelisk Spider, Overcome, and Kefnet's Last Words. Four mana, gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment, and then your land zone on tap. Okay. That's pretty sweet for standard, I think. Maybe somewhere. Somebody might find a nice home for this. I'm going to steal your, I don't know, I'll steal your Ulamog, let's say. Or right, I'm going to steal your big bomb. And then I'm going to play it against you and win the game. So we'll see what happens. We got about one, two, three, four, five, like eight packs left. Come on. Invocation. Give me something good. Let's see it. Even of Enduring Hope. Countervailing Winds. Celerity Camel. Morning Wall. Ambuscade. Carrion Screecher. Desert of the Fervent. 
uh, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Graven Abomination, Steadfast Sentinel, uh, Manticore Eternal, Steward of Celerity, Claim of Fame. All right. Ramnap Hydra. All right. That's cool. Four mana, three, three. Vigilance Reach Trample. Gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a desert. And then gets another plus one, plus one if there's a desert in the yard. All right. Four mana, five, five. Trample Reach Vigilance. That's, that's not terrible for a Hydra. That's pretty good. So. Right, where are the goods? Open fire, countervailing winds, sandblast, carrion screecher, oasis ritualist, scrounger of souls, defiant Kenra, Juru's renunciation, unsummon, desert of the mindful, bloodwater entity, sunset pyramid, torment of scarabs, leave and chance. All right, leave and chance is pretty cool. Return any number of target permanents you own to their owner's hand. Maybe modern somewhere. Eggs. I don't know. We're going to have to ask all those egg players out there. Does this fit? I'm not sure. All right. Sandblast. Kindle Fury. Avon Reed Stalker. Active Heroism. Beneath the Sands. Lurching Rock Beast, Desert of the True, Striped River Winder, Graven Abomination, Steadfast Sentinel, Magmarol, Ominous Sphinx, Unraveling Mummy, Oketra's well, Last Mercy. This is cool. This is like the total opposite of Bantu's Reckoning. Uh, one colorless, two white. It says your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Don't untap your lands. I think this card is sweet. It says, all right, I'm about to lose... Let me go back to 20, and good luck. So we'll see what happens. I think that card's real cool. Uh, just going back to 20 is always a sweet thing for three mana. So, all right. Puncturing Blow. Proven Combatant. Dauntless Haven. Blur of Blades. Ambuscade. Uh, Grizzly Survivor. Granitic Titan. Seer of Last Tomorrow. Desert of the Fervent, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Gideon's Defeat, Desert's Hold, Eternal of Harsh Truths, and the card itself, Hour of Devastation. This card is cool. I know a lot of people are ranking this card to be probably one of the best in the set. It says, hey, all your creatures lose indestructible. We're just going to deal five to everything and everything that says non-Bolas Planeswalker. Uh, I think this card's real sweet. Works very well in a ramp deck. It's a nice big ward wipe. Clears away most things, so hopefully this card will see a lot of play. I mean, the set's named after it, so. Blur of Blades, Unquenchable Thirst, Dutiful Servants, Kenra Scrapper, Lurching Rock Beast, Frilled Sandwalla, Traveler's Amulet, Strip Riverwinder, Desert of the Indomitable, Ruin Rat, uh, Ipnu Riverlet? Yeah, Ipnu. A Cursed Horde. Vizier of the True. Chaos Maw. Alright, we only got a few packs left here. I'm getting kind of worried. I just want the goods. I just want to open up that nice shiny, have my face light up, and enjoy myself. Alright. Let's see. Blur of Blades. Even Reed Soccer, Mummy Paramount, Ambuscade, Grizzly Survivor, Traveler's Amulet, Survivor's Encampment, Gift of Strength, Cast Through, Crash Through, sorry, Catcher's Avenger, Appeal and Authority, Quarry Beetle, Devotee of Strength, Reason and Believe. Again, another Kevin Jones card. One Mana Scry 3, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's no Serum Visions, it's no Ponder, or Preordain, or any of those kind of broken cards, but it's pretty sweet. One mana standard Scry 3. I think we can work with it. All right. Let's see here. Disposable Mummy. Aven of Enduring Hope. Countervailing Winds. Karen Screecher. Frilled Sandwalla. 
Torment of uh, Venom. God Pharaoh's Faithful. Feral Prowler. Guild of Ceridon. Ruin Rat. Gideon's Defeat. Obelisk Spider. Devotee of Strength. Hour of Eternity. Alright, Hour of Eternity is an odd one. Three blue. XX. Exile X target creatures from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4 4 black zombie. Alright, that's cool. Superman intensive, but hey, you never know. Alright, the last one. Show me the goods. Open fire. Tragic lesson. Sandblast. Sidewinder Naga. Marauding Bone Slasher. Without weakness. Defiant Kenra. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Cunning Survivor. Bloodwater Eternity. Sifter Worm. Liliana's Defeat. Nice little foil riddle form. And Hollowed One. Hollowed One's a sweet card. It says, I'm a 5 mana 4-4 four, four that essentially at some point I might be able to play for free. Hollowed One costs 2 less for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. I have a feeling Dan Ward's going to try and squeeze this somewhere. I don't know. But that's all we got. All the packs. No invocation. I'm a little upset. But you never know. Uh, thank you guys very much. Thanks for watching. Tuning in from Kerwin's Game Store. My name is John. Have a wonderful night. Kerwin'sGameStore.com is the online source for your gaming needs. We stock sealed products and card singles for Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Weiss Schwartz. We also carry singles for Hero Clicks and Star Wars Destiny. With our free economy shipping on all orders and responsive customer service, you get more of the games you want hassle-free. Shop KerwinsGameStore.com today and see why we are the best place in gaming.